feel about Meek's transition? I personally, I love Meek's albums when he has something to say. Yeah. <clears throat> I feel like Meek, when he came out of jail, there was so much anticipation and hype. He went to Hot 97. He smashed that freestyle. Yeah. Hanging out with uh, Jay and all those other billionaires, the white guys. And we just saw Meek on a, you know, he's mature. He's not with Nicki. He's leveled up. I was like, bro, just drop this album or drop the music that we can all connect to that makes sense. And he doesn't deliver, man. You know, I feel like he got back to his old internet ways, the whole Twitter fingers thing. I was gonna say, yeah. That's I feel like that that really tarnishes his brand, man. Like, you know, like, nah, I don't want to see Meek at 31, 32, or however old he is still. You know, people are still taking the piss. They really don't like him online. And it's all his faults. It's all his faults. You know, he, he did admit that back then he was on perks and everything. I'm assuming that now he might not. And I just like to see the more mature side of Meek, man. And Meek seems like, you know, he's chasing a sound now. Sometimes he tries to sound like he's 22, but it's like, nah. Yep. You know, he's not really showing me that maturity I need from him. It's like, Meek, you have bread now. You put your team on. He's signing artists that are making fire music. Like, what's that guy's name? Is it Vori or who? That guy that he's talking about. I think it's dope. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, man. It's like Meek leveled up in every other way apart from music to me, I feel. And as far as the whole Twitter thing. Minus the chasing the sound thing. Yeah. Someone said that basically they see Meek in you. What would you say? Or they see you in Meek. What would you say? <laughs> With everything you just described. Um, I'll say, uh, first of all, yeah. I'll be like, you do? <laughs> Nah, but I'll say, like, with me, it's never like, like, with me, people was like, oh, cool, fresh is to fight or whatever. Like, I might mean, just be replying. I was never a person to only RT or respond to, like, good things being said about myself. Yeah. If someone says something bad and I have an off day, I may go off. Sometimes I'm like, oh, how do, why do you feel this way? But I feel like Meek is not even, like, responding to people anymore. He's just doing crazy things, bro. Like, I just feel like sometimes he just gets out of hand for no reason. But yeah. it's not just about even those little things like obviously post Nikki, most of his tweets like subbing her or just being very salty about certain issues. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, Wale thing about Wale not supporting his album. I just feel like those are kind of things you never see fresh do. I'm not going to be like, yo, budging tweets, my idea. Like, yeah. Wait, was that a recent one? Or you mean from before about no, Wale? Like three, four years ago, Wale won or whatever. When he told so, Wale, you know, MMG. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? So, Meek has actually come out to do things like that over the last few years. I'm just like, ah, wait, you know, so it's been a bit odd. So, what would you, what would you, what would you, what would you, what would you like, blame it on? Or what would you say? I'll just say because, like, sometimes when, you know, ev- obviously, he brought everyone from his hood, like, with him, right? And he's still around those same people. So, I feel like sometimes, like, he doesn't really have people to check him or, like, just call him to the side, like, yo, don't do this or why are you acting this way? Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I just feel that way. And I feel like, obviously, when he's chilling with all them Hove and um, Robert Kraft or whatever that guy's name, all those people, maybe you have one or two of his guys there with him. And that's when he's, like, at his most composed. But once he frees all those bosses, he just gets back to doing regular dumb shit feeling like he's 20 again or whatever. Do you know what I'm saying? Even like, how can a new artist from Philly be saying that Meek is banned from North Philly? Yeah, so that. How did Meek get in that position? Like, do you understand what I'm saying? It's so sad, man. It's actually so sad. Oh my God. That's hilarious. Nah, Meek on my hand badly. Bah, I was dead for I'll, Meek. I'll tell you two, two other rappers that, um, me and you have spoken about this before, that I just, the outcome is just disappointing. You yeah. already know against the first one. You said about uh, like 90 rappers from NY. Oh, um, I'm about um, Davies or Troy Ave. Davies. Yeah, Davies and Troy Ave. For me, it was like, we bought the watch when Troy Ave first came out, Troy bumping his projects. And after a while, I just realized that Troy wasn't really rapping any rapping. He, Dave, I like Dave because he's just a bad boy. Like, just looks like he's just... Yeah. Uh, I rock with that. Do you know what I mean? So I was literally expecting um like bro, like they don't even rap as good as Benny the Butcher or those um flipping um Buffalo boys. Like yeah, I have a new joint. 
Yeah. Um, when he's just rapping, no, like no more voice, no more yeah. tone. But just the things that he's telling us about, like you can hear it, like yeah. stories, parables, quotes, like you know, he had one line about some, some, some way before his mouth even moved. Yeah, like it's just so, yeah. you know. So I'm just, I'm just, um, I'm surprised that Dave has nothing to say. Why does that happen from like legendary rappers? Is it a thing of trying to stake their claim, or is it like they don't want to bring people to? I mean, shout out to Jay for with the whole J Cole thing, but. With that heavy Nas co-sign, I remember Fabulous. All the NY rappers were really behind the East. Co-signing don't mean anything anymore, man. Everyone was co-signing Vic Mensa. Disappointed the whole world. Another one that has, quote-unquote... No, they were trying to make it seem like Vic Mensa was going to be the next thing. And we all bought it. <laughs> I did buy it. I was never, I was never a Vic Mensa star. I wasn't a fan, but like, I knew about this guy because of the hype. But, but, but what do you think about that? Um, Big Man Sir was cool when he was like on that whole. We dropped house. a track like, down on my luck again. That was way. Was it when it was that house music wave? Mm-hmm. That's what he has to do. But there's no way of going back to that. Shaved hair, bare tats. Well, I feel like there's a lot of pressure on hip hop artists. I feel like we should normalize people just coming in the game two, three, four, five years and leaving. And in today's I don't call them in one one day. Everyone's just what do you say? That Carlos one with same P. Nah, he's here to stay, man. Trust me. You may think so. Yeah, let me tell you something, man. Are you saying he's better than Michael Moore? Or whatever you call his name. Michael Moore. Michael Moore. (laughs) Do you think he's better than Nick? (laughs) He went straight to pop hits. Jacarlo is never Jacar almost like he's like rapping like normal black people, bro. you even know his wife. That against him, guy. Guy, how? That is not there. One formula. <laughs> Need features. Can't switch it up. And Nick, no offense, but his wife, like, mm. he, he don't. No, I mean, I that agree, that. man. Nah, I feel like there's a lot of space now for white artists, man. Trust me. Fair enough. I definitely do feel like, trust me, I feel like because, especially because we even lost Mac Miller, man, just like, it's just mm-hmm. really... There's a hole in the game. It's not even just like, yeah, just like, like Mac Miller was onto something great, man. Mac Miller had something completely different. He had like that whole skateboard aesthetic, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but the, all, that's what I'm saying. All the white guys now, check this out, yeah. Russ, Russ has the whole self-sufficient vibe. Rap, sing, hip-hop, Pop, blah blah blah, cool. Produce. Jacalo has that. Have to come out with black niggas and still come out strong. I'm not trying to sell my soul. G Easy has that whole. I'm going to sniff coke and do the do. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like all the white guys that are popping right now all have something unique about them. Okay. Do you know what I'm saying? Definitely, Mac Miller had that whole skateboard fun vibe. That was dope, you know. And I just feel, yeah. yeah man, had, I, he, was, he, had, he had artistic talent. He wasn't just a pop hit guy. Mm. Yeah, I'm telling you for a fact. That color, two, three years, like, don't, I must say it won't be here, but it won't be tough to hit those, those number one kid guy. Uh, <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think so. Uh, is it, well, first, do you think a white guy can blow an edge? Impossible. <laughs> nah, it's gonna happen. I can guarantee. Never happen, bro. I'll put ten grand down on it. it never happen. It's gonna happen. I was I was actually chatting to Donna One about this when I was in Nige. We had some long convo about. I was telling him, bro, it's gonna happen one day. You know, there's um there's gonna be one white guy who grew up in Nige. He starts doing music and then it, it, it will be corny, but people would still bump it. But then like Eminem, he'll blow. And people will be like, wow, this guy's actually dope. That's, that word you just said was my point. People think like, it's going to be so corny. He's but people be- say that always about, you know, white rappers anyway. And then yeah, they blow. Then, but then do you know what happens? Then like $10 million just comes behind their whole career and they blow. Mm. In Nige, nobody's even puts. I can't even imagine any of the CEOs here trying to like put money on this white guy. Like, what's it gonna? In fact, a lot of like, you know, a lot of blown songs don't even get like they don't blow in Nige. Do you know what I'm saying? That that is a very different market. So like, 
a lot of mainstream songs don't get played. Even like the biggest songs, when they get played in clubs, like or weddings or whatever, your reaction is just not the same. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. So it's not, is it white guy now about to start speaking you about or pigeon? Uh, That's what I'm saying though. Like, as in, you know, white guy talking pigeon, dropping. That's what I'm saying. Well. It can never happen. It will, trust it me. I have one. Watch it happen. <laughs> in in a couple of years, we'll come back. We'll see what happens. Never happen. Nick, if you, do, yes, you know, the song can go viral. The song can go viral. People can use it. They'll make skits. They'll do blah, blah, cool. But as far as the guy blowing, nah. I can see it happening, man. Like, there's already that uh, that Oimbo Rebel guy. Do you know him? I don't, I don't even know him. You see? Yeah. <laughs> I just oh, know he's him. he's he's blowing though. Like, he's not in like um in your circle or on your radar. But um, yeah. he's he's like a nice guy, and um you know he uh he's on his white boy shit, but he still talks you know in pigeon and stuff like that. You know, he was in the Guardian. Um, you know, Paul Snige did a did a piece on him, but basically his thing is, you know, the white guy that grew up in Nige and he's just spitting like in pigeon and that. But you know, it's dope and it's kind of unique type thing. Dope, dope to who? That's what. That's my question. Who's it dope to? Dope to me. <laughs> you know, but I I, I don't mind uh, you know corny white guys, but um, I know I think there is definitely a um you know, a market for it. What is blown? Is it stream numbers or is it actually getting booked at festivals or is it doing tours or... Does what does blown in 2020 actually mean? I'd say being able to, you know, um, having a fan base that can support you and that come out. So it's an um, amalgamation of are you able to tour and people will pay to watch you are you getting, you know, in the publications? Are you getting features with big artists? Are you getting bookings for festivals? The Alternative Network.